I made an actual camera inside Blender, which I used to take virtual photographs. If you haven't seen it, check out the video. It's a wild ride, and I'm not sure I'll ever fully recover from it. Now I'm going to upload the file so that you too can render some virtual photos. But before I do... Maybe I should just clean up the file a bit, calibrate the drivers a bit better, and use a procedural normal texture on the screen material in order to concentrate the outgoing rays to a smaller area around the lens opening, increasing the efficiency of the render by at least an order of magnitude. Alright, now that that's fixed, I'll upload it. Actually, maybe I should just improve the rendering script real quick to make it less of a hassle, allowing people to render the image with one click instead of having to go through multiple steps. Okay, good. Yeah, maybe I'll just throw the dispersion back in there as an option in case anyone wants to try it. Alright, now I'm uploading it for real. Here's a quick overview of how it works. Because there are some render and layer settings that are important, it's better to make a copy of the virtual camera file and then import whatever you want to take a virtual photo of into this file. Just make sure it's in a collection that's inside the main collection collection. Once you have your subject, you can hop into the viewfinder camera, select the camera body and position it how you like. When you've got it framed up, check that your focus is right, your aperture is how you want it, and the exposure is good by rotating the control objects. Then, hop into the actual screen camera, and all you have to do is run the render script. This will freeze Blender for a bit, so if you want to see the progress, make sure you open the console window first. If Blender crashes during the render, or you have to shut off your computer, don't worry, because if you start the render process again, it will pick up right where it left off, and at the end, you'll have a final image saved in a virtual camera renders folder in the same folder as your file. Feel free to mess with the settings. If you want to test out the dispersion shader, you can go into the dispersion group in one of the lens glass materials and just switch over which shader it's using. Now, I want to see your renders. Send me the virtual photos that you take, and I'll show off some of the best ones in another video. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Jesus, break.